Uh, that's number 12, UCF. And they're hosting Temple Thursday night, tomorrow night in Orlando. And, uh, you know, don't overlook. Everybody talks in the AAC here about UCF, UCF, UCF. Well, you know, one team obviously we'll talk about later is Houston. Don't overlook them. But don't overlook this Temple team and Jeff Collins, who I said last week is bringing some Philly tough to these guys. They're number 22 in total defense in the country. But as Coach, you said last week and two weeks ago, uh, UCF is with McKenzie Milton is a great is a great team. Without him, you know what? He's a, they're only a good team. Well, you know what? He's he's questionable. Is he injured? His backup is a red shirt freshman, you know, Daryl Mack. But likewise, the leading running back for uh, uh, Temple, um, Raquel Armstead, you know, he's questionable as well. So we're going to see how this goes because right now is it going to be Temple against a great team, Temple against a good team. And what happens in this AAC matchup, Mark? Well, if you look at this football game, Mackenzie Milton, if he plays, you said he was questionable in this game. If he plays, I really like UCF in this football game. That's the juggling act in this football game. But here's the key to this football game. Temple has played big games this year. Coming off the overtime win against Cincinnati was a huge game for them because Cincinnati was undefeated this past week. And if you look at earlier in the season, they did defeat Maryland, a pretty good football team. But the short week traveling on the road, regardless if Mackenzie Milton plays or not, I'm taking the home team in this game, Coach. I think UCF gets it done on special teams and defense, and they get it done 37 28 over Temple. I think UCF is going to be so bad that the poll came out and they're ranked number 12. They deserve to be better. They're going to be highly motivated. If Mackenzie Milton plays, I would feel comfortable them playing against anybody. Let's remember, this is basically the same UCF football team that went undefeated last year and smashed Auburn in a major bowl last year. Same team. I think that uh, uh, you have to look at Temple. Uh, let's see, now they lost to uh, Villanova and they lost to Buffalo. I mean, uh, they, uh, they've lost some conference games also, but they, they can't run the football. Anthony LaRusso, their quarterback, performed miracles against Cincinnati, throwing the pass, uh, 25-yard touchdown pass, right, as the game ended, then throwing the 20-yard touchdown pass in overtime to win. Yeah, that's great. But UCF is a very, very good football team, very good on defense with McKenzie Milton. I look for... UCF to Ramble 48 to 14. Well, there you have it. AAC is it's it's going to be live for the rest of the year.